Kalinowski, a recruiter from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And if we could recruit our contestants, you would be one that we would pick because you're fabulous and you're fun and you're really smart. Right, audience? She's doing a great job. Just fantastic. $53,600 in the bank so far. You're only three questions away from that second round. You doing okay? I'm doing great. Yeah, are you inside? <laughs> How are you doing? I'm feeling fantastic. Good, then this you want to so keep cool. playing? I would love to. All right, then let's play. <laughs> let's go. In a nod to her Spice Girl nickname, Melanie Brown's 2010 reality series is subtitled what? It's a scary world, sporty at 40, posh life bringing up baby. Melanie Brown. Melanie Brown was Scary Spice, and I actually just saw an ad for it in some magazine, can't remember which, but uh, I'm leaning towards um, It's a Scary World, A, my final answer. It's a Scary World is right. Very nice. Okay, you got nice dollar amounts up there. Any one of them would be great. How much is this question worth? $8,600, six away from a million dollars. Next category is body language. The uvula, the fleshy hanging lobe at the back of a person's <coughs> mouth, gets its name from a Latin word meaning little what? Apple, pear, grape, cherry. Take much Latin? No, and I'm kicking myself now. <laughs> would have helped for the SATs, but now I feel that um, it looks like a pear, but it is also hanging, so I would think it's a cherry. Uh, well, all of those fruit hang, so. Hmm. You have two lifelines. Jump the question if you need them. I know it's, I know it's B, but I'm going to jump just because I feel better that way. Okay, well, if you're gonna <laughs> feel better, we want you to feel better, so you don't have to answer this question is now out of play. You said you knew it was B. Let's see if you were right that it would. No, it was great. Boy, that little angel on your shoulder overruled the devil because you, you were very right to jump the question. Of course, there is a price to pay. It's either 3000 or 7000 that this question was valued at. Let's see the amount. What did you lose out on? 7000 All right. It's better than everything. Well, listen, you're that much closer to round two and that much closer to a million dollars. We'll be right back with more Millionaire right after this. Party. Welcome back to Millionaire. The answer to that $100,000 question was Isaac Newton. Diana Zalewski, who's doing such a fabulous job. Are you keeping the money amounts in your head? Oh, I, <laughs> trying to, I'm trying to. I'm trying to, but I do need to look and yeah, check yeah, yeah. so. Well, I'll mm. remind you, $58,600. That's a nice chunk of change there. And you have made it to the final question of round one. We know that there's $3,000 behind this question. Are you ready? I am. Okay, let's play. Winning an amazing eighth medal in 2010, who now holds the record for most Winter Olympic medals by an American athlete? Sean White, Lindsey Vaughn, Apollo Anton Ono, Bodie Miller. I think it's Apollo. Um, I remember it was the race. We liked the guy who was on Dancing with the Stars, a big fan. <laughs> Let's, I'm gonna gamble. I'm gonna gamble. Let's do this. Okay, see, final answer. Oh, no, 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 it's it, you got it. That was it.
the $61,600, you are now in round two. Your next question. Your next question will be for $100,000. means the game's open for today. It doesn't okay. mean you're, you know, just keep the money. You've got the 61600 When we see you next time, you're going for $100,000, working your way up to a million. Congratulations, Peter. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time on Millionaire. Please go. What's the one neurologist recommended?